additional noise that you're hearing is the sound women usually make when they see the Lambo. We've shown you the McLaren, the Porsche and the Ferrari in our supercar series. Next up, it's the Lamborghini Murcielago. We've finally tracked down Danny Lambo. Where have you been? Well, you know, I had a great adventure at Belgium, but it wasn't long enough. Three days for me, just won't do it. I've taken the Lambo that far, got to make the most of it. Now we've got you and the Lambo together, talk me through this. Let's start at the front because I love your, uh, your number plate. Talk well, us through that. I got this, this number... 28 hot. Yeah, I got this number plate when I was 28. And obviously the car's hot, so I had to get the car. I'm also Together. in the hotel business, so hot hotel, you know, kind of I makes I love sense. it, it's working for me. And um, then the main point of this car, which I think everyone, when we were in Spa, everyone was looking, it's when those scissor doors go up. Should we have a quick look at those? Yeah. Look at that. Now, it's quite tricky to get into. I That's still where the magic to, happens. That is where the magic happens. I had trouble getting in and out of spa and I actually got bruises up my leg because it's actually, you can see, I'm a good six foot two. And it's probably no more than what, four foot high? That's yeah. the highest point. Yeah, that, the roof is the highest point. Yeah, it's incredibly low. Um, but after, I mean, I've been driving Lambo since I was 21. So you, I have still banged my head from time to time. When you forget yourself. Which doesn't look good when I'm coming out of a film premiere. No, But no. Uh, now I can You're good to go. do it in one. Oh. Of course, if a girl in the mini skirt, but no, that could be a bit awkward. Yeah. So you hop in and out of there pretty, pretty easy, and you've got loads of cool things. What did you have? You've got your cool orange telephone. Well, I'm known in there. for my gadgets and my, you know, fancy stuff. So every orange Lambo should be complete with a ET phone, home orange phone. Uh, hello. Oh no. It actually, yeah, does really? work. Yeah. I know, and you were passing it to all um, sorts of people on the way around in the motorways. If the cops are giving me any trouble, I just put on the old V for Vendetta <laughs> mask because we know the cops hate that. And where's your lightsaber? Have you got that with you, sir? Have yeah, you left that behind? It's time, so unfortunately you won't see the full effect, but this is an original Star Wars lightsaber with noise in orange. We, uh... I've got a few of the moves. <laughs> Darth Vader, any time. Bring it on. Yeah, this is where I get my dates, basically. Okay, let's, let's hang on, because people might want to... We don't want people ringing you. Let's see, are you yeah. single? Well, we don't see, that's, mind, you, know. you don't mind, you're open to anything. Why not? Yeah. Are you single? Okay. So you just, uh, you know, when you're in the... That's a bit uh, <laughs> risky for YouTube. Chill out, uh, we like that. Nice friendly one. So, um, can we maybe start it up and hear it? Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, hear it in action. noise that you're hearing is the sound women usually make when they see the Lambo. And I'll just replay that for you. I just wanted to make it different and I went to my guy and I thought you know it's a great looking engine it's slick people should see it people come and look at the car they want to see the engine so I went to my body guy and I said look put, this was originally for pieces of carbon fiber here and I said look can you put glass in the middle and he said it's not gonna work it's... I said look just do it whatever it costs so he did it it looked amazing. We've, I've also got, unfortunately you can't see in the daytime, but I've got orange neon around the side of the engine, which lights up the engine orange, so you can actually see it in the dark, oh which does look amazing. And, and the next cheer. year, Lamborghini did a facelift, and they had glass, lo and behold, on it. Lo and behold, you now, are a trendsetter. I'm not saying that it was my idea, but <laughs> you, put two, you put two and two together, you get four. I saw you on the telly behind a certain uh, news presenter? Yes, um, this has been on the TV quite a few times for various shows I've done, but one surprise, which wasn't planned, uh, was the royal birth. So patriotic. So um, 
William was in the hospital just around the corner actually from where we are now at St Mary's with uh, his beloved Kate. wife, Kate. The baby was on the way. Time for Danny Lambo to Hours, hours <laughs> till uh, he popped out, our future king. And the roads were all closed. What's going on here then? I took a left where I shouldn't have. I ended up right in front of the hospital, the world's press. Like the wise man. It was a photo <laughs> bomb of Kate of Kay Burley, live on Sky News. And there you were. Every camera went in, some Chinese reporter put his mic through, asked me, what do you what what should we call the baby's name? I said Lambo of course. <laughs> so you know I haven't seen that footage yet, but if there's anyone in China who has, send me send it to me. <laughs> but Daddy, you are an amazing character. You have got an amazing Cars. Thank you very much. I think we'll have to come back and see you uh, when you get the Aventador. Definitely, yeah. We can yeah. gatecrash your arrival of your Another new... road trip. Uh, sounds good. Absolutely. Stay tuned to the channel because we're going to have so many more tours of the supercars that joined us on the way to the Belgian Grand Prix. In there. It's been wrap wrapped up by a company called Kit Customs. Um, beautiful look, two-tone, black mirror. This has an awful lot of race components, you know, race seats, harnesses, plastic rear window. Let's have a look.